today's session of learning in mathematics. I am Miss Devsel, your companion in today's session. With an inspired heart and willing to learn minds, let's all be math inclined and learn together. So now, get ready yourselves as we uncover the mathematical mystery world of statistics. In today's session, we are going to learn the basic statistical concept and some of the common terminologies that we encounter as we tackle about statistics. But first, let us answer these pre-assessment questions. I give you 5 seconds to answer each of the following questions. Question number 1. These are mathematical techniques used to facilitate the interpretation of numerical data secured from entities, individuals, or observation. A. Descriptive statistics B. Inferential statistics C. Statistics and letter D. Statistical methods What do you think would be the possible answer? Again, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Amazing! You get it right! The correct answer is letter D. Statistical methods Question number 2. It is a field of statistics that does not involve any generalization. A. Population B. Descriptive statistics C. Class interval and letter D. Inferential statistics What do you think would be the possible answer? Amazing! You get it right! The correct answer is letter B, descriptive statistics. Question number three. It is a form of mathematical analysis that uses quantified models, representation, and synopsis for a given set of experimental data or real-life studies. A, statistics. B, descriptive statistics. C, statistical method. And letter D, inferential statistics. What do you think would be the possible answer? Again, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Amazing! You get it right! The correct answer is letter A, statistics. And for our last question, question number 4, it makes use of generalization, predictions, estimations, or more generally decisions in the face of uncertainty. A. Population B. Class interval C. Inferential statistics and letter D. Descriptive statistics What do you think would be the possible answer? Again, you have 5 seconds to answer this question. Amazing! You get it right! The correct answer is letter C, inferential statistics. According to the definitions from Oxford Languages, statistics is the practice or science of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities, especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. Statistics is a form of mathematical analysis that uses quantified models, representations, and synopsis for a given experimental data or real-life studies. Statistics as a science involves the methods of collecting, processing, summarizing, and analyzing data in order to provide answers or solutions to an inquiry. Statistical methods are the mathematics techniques used to facilitate the interpretation of numerical data secured from entities, individuals, or observations. Descriptive statistics is a field of statistics that does not involve any generalizations. In contrast, inferential statistics make use of generalizations, predictions, estimations, and more generally decisions in the face of uncertainty. Statistics enables us to characterize persons, situations, objects, and phenomena. It also enables us to explain relationships among variables. Statistics also enable us to formulate objective assessments 
and more importantly, statistics enables us to make evidence-based decisions and predictions. But the question is, when can we say that a specific question is answerable through a statistical process? Well, let me present to you a question and let us know how can we answer that question. Are you ready? I guess you are, so let's jump into it. Question number one. How tall is a typical Filipino? Do you think this question is answerable through a statistical process? You're right. Yes, this question is answerable through a statistical process. Why? Because the process includes getting a representative group of Filipinos and measure the height of each member of the representative group. From the gathered data which had undergone a quality check, a typical value of the height of a Filipino could be obtained. Such typical value represents a possible answer to the question. Is it right? Now let's try to look for another example. Question number two. Is planet Mars bigger than planet Earth? Do you think this question is answerable through a statistical process? You got it right. This question is not answerable through a statistical process. Why? Because a statistical question has answers that will probably vary. Usually, a statistical question will ask about the population of a multiple people, events, or things. But in this question, it's obvious that we can gather data to solve this problem. Now, as my way to confirm that you learned something from our discussion, I want you to answer the following questions. Identify which of the following questions are answerable through a statistical process. Put a check in the blank before the number item if you think that the question is answerable through a statistical process. And put an X if you think that the question is not answerable through a statistical process. Question number one. What is the typical size of a Filipino family? Question number two, how many hours in a day? Question number three, how old is the oldest man residing in the Philippines? Question number four, what is the average wage rate in the country? And the last but probably not the least question number five is, did you eat your breakfast today? That's it for today guys and I hope that you learned something from our session. Again, I am Miss Depsol, your today's companion. See you till next time! Hey.